Oh boy! Do you also struggle tying your necktie? Today's dressing rules don't require men to wear a suit and tie to work every day. But everybody has a special occasion from time to time. And that's when this piece of clothing comes into play. And if you have no idea what to do with this long stretch of cloth, then let me show you all the fancy ways to tie it. Number 1. Oriental Knot This knot is the simplest to tie, so let's start with it. Take the tie so that the thick end is in your left hand. Adjust the length. The thick end should still be on your left, a couple of inches lower than where you want it to be at the end. Pass the thick end across the thin one from the front, then do the same from the back, effectively surrounding the thin end in a loop. Reinforce this loop by turning the thick end from the front and back again. And yes, you guessed it, do it once more, but this time only from the front. Now, put a finger between the loop and the loose thick end. Bring the end behind the loop, pass it between the loop and the collar, and slip it through the gap you're holding with your finger. This time, when you pull the thick end, the knot will tighten. Help it by holding the knot with one hand and pulling slightly on the thin end. Congrats! You've managed the level 1 knot! Number 2. Half Windsor This is a tougher knot to tie, but it's totally worth it. It's medium-sized and symmetrical, which makes it more official and yet makes you look more slender. Take a tie and put it around your collar, with the thick end dangling somewhere at your right hip. The thin end's tip should, at the same time, be near your rib cage. Make an X with the ends of the tie by crossing the thick end in front of the thin one. Make a single loop like you did with the oriental knot. Bring the thick end around the thin one and behind it. Now grab the thick end from the top and pull it through the hole in the initial X. Pull it tight to make the first knot. Now make a second loop with the thick end, bring it around in front of the thin one right to left. Hold the resulting triangle with your left hand, and with your right, pull the thick end from behind the loop and over the X. Help yourself with your left hand and open the triangle. Now pull the thick end through the opening and all the way down. Adjust the length by pulling the knot to your collar while pulling the thin end down at the same time. Flatten the knot a little bit. And here you go! Number 3. Full Windsor Now this one is a large knot for longer ties that's probably the most official one. It also makes your neck look thicker, which adds to the masculinity. Take a tie, obviously, and put it around your collar so that the thick end is on the right, about a palm's length below the waist. Make an X of the ends, bringing the thick end over the thin one. Pull the thick end behind the thin one and through the loop around your neck, holding the X in place with the other hand. Pull the thick end completely through the loop, tuck it around behind the knot, and bring it right to left. Now take its tip, bring it diagonally up and through the loop around your neck from above. Pull the tip down and to the left from the thin end. Then bring it left to right across the knot and put a finger between the knot and the horizontal band to make a small opening. Now pull the thick end upwards behind the knot and then down through that opening you made. And I mean all the way down. Smooth your handsome new tie knot and you're good to go to a meeting with the queen. Number 4. St. Andrew If you want a more easy-to-tie option of the half Windsor knot, St. Andrew is your choice. It'll be a medium-sized, symmetrical knot good for any formal occasion. Take a tie. Put it around your neck, seam outwards, with the thick end on your left side, a finger length below the point you want the tip to be in the end. Make an X of the two ends by passing the thick one behind the thin one from left to right. And then pass it horizontally back over the thin end and pass it behind again. Take the tip of the thick end and tuck it vertically behind the knot over the front of your collar. Pull the tip out to the left of the knot and bring it across the front, making a horizontal band. Put a finger between the knot and the band to make an opening. Now, bring the thick end behind the knot again, pull it out from above it, and immediately down through the opening you should still be holding. 
Now, if you pull the thick end carefully down while grabbing onto the knot, you'll tighten it and be immensely proud of yourself. I know I am. Number 5. Victoria Want a smaller and more casual knot on your tie? Look no further. Well, look over here. Place a tie around your neck with its thick end on your left, finger length below where you want its tip to be in the end. Now, without making that X, just cross the thick end in front of the thin one and then immediately behind it. Repeat the whole thing, front and back, then cross it over the front again and put a finger between the loop and the horizontal band you've just made. Take the tip of the thick end and pull it upwards through the loop around your collar. Without pause, push the tip through the opening you're holding with your finger and pull the end all the way down. Now hold the resulting knot with one hand and tighten it by carefully pulling on the thin end. Ooh, that's nice. Number 6. Eldridge Finally, if you're up for a challenge and ready for experiments, here's the Eldridge knot for you. It'll certainly turn some heads. Put the tie around your neck so that the thick end is on your right side with its tip where you want it to be in the end. Make a dimple on the thick end by pinching it and bring the thin end across it horizontally in the front, then back from behind, and tuck the tip into the loop around your collar coming from above. Make another horizontal crossing over the thick end and pull the tip through the loop from below. Tighten the knot and pull the thin end diagonally down left to right. You have a diagonal band now. Bring the thin end behind the thick one and back in the front, feeding the tip behind your diagonal band. Tighten it all up and you now have two diagonal bands, one on either side. Take the tip of the thin end so that it looks straight upwards and pull it down through the loop behind the knot, pulling it out to the right. Pull up again and down through the loop on the left side of your neck, leaving some space on the right. Pull once more, careful not to strangle yourself. Get the end in front of and behind the knot and, yep, pull the tip through the space you left on the right. Finally, tuck the tip over the top of the loop around your neck and out of sight. If necessary, adjust the tie. If you've done that on your first try, <laughs> you've managed much better than me. And this is it! You now have six ways to tie your necktie. Want to share your own methods? Feel free to go down in the comments. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend.